Hello, my name is Erin. This tutorial shows how to change your name for track changes and comments in Word for Mac. If you're on a PC, please see my previous tutorial titled How to Change Your Username for Track Changes in Microsoft Word, which will be linked in the description box below. Today I'll be using Word for Microsoft 365 for Mac. These steps may not apply to older versions of Word for Mac. Before we begin, it's very important to note that these steps must be completed before using track changes because this process doesn't change the name connected to existing edits or comments. In fact, Microsoft Word doesn't currently offer a built-in way to change names connected to existing edits or comments. However, you can replace existing names with a default label author. We'll walk through that process in a separate tutorial. To begin, select the Word menu. And then select Preferences from the drop-down menu. Next, select User Information in the Word Preferences dialog box. From there, you can type your new name in the Name text box. I'm going to change my name from Erin to Editor. You can also add new initials if you'd like. When you're finished, select the Always Use This Name Regardless of How I'm Signed Into Office option. And then select the Close button. Your updated name should now appear when you add new comments and edits. Please note that this name change will remain in effect for all future comments and edits in your current document and all other documents you work on from the computer on which you made the change. We'll test that by opening a new document right now. And then adding a new test comment. As you can see, my name is now Editor rather than Erin. As always, remember to save your file to save your changes. I have a growing collection of Word for Mac tutorials, including how to adjust the space between words in Word for Mac and how to create a custom heading style in Word for Mac. You can find all my Word for Mac tutorials in the playlist called How to Use Word for Mac, which is linked in the description box below. All the steps we just performed are listed with images on erinwritewriting.com along with all my other writing-related software tutorials to help you succeed at work and in the classroom. Today's tutorial was requested by a subscriber. Feel free to leave me a comment if there's a specific topic that you would like me to talk about in the future. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future tutorials, and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching.